Thank you. Thank you very much. I like very much the swimmer. Oh, thank you. I think the great thing about Lego bricks is it is a universal toy. I've taken the exhibition around the globe. I've taken uh, Lego bricks to places where people have never heard of Lego. I mean, when I was in Africa, I met some folks who had never played with Lego, never even heard of it, and yet they immediately got it when I brought out a few bricks. And that's the great thing about using this medium. It makes the art very accessible. In this exhibition, there are a few pieces that were really challenging from a straightforward engineering standpoint. Uh, there's, there's a dinosaur skeleton in this exhibition that it's just gigantic from a, a scale of building with Lego bricks. So it took an entire summer for me to complete, and there was a lot of challenges from an engineering standpoint. I think there's another piece in here, a red dress, where it's flowing in the wind. That was a real challenge because to get these little rectangles to look like they were blowing in the wind really took a lot of work. And I kept starting and stopping and starting and stopping and actually uh, chiseling apart so many bricks to get it to look just like I wanted to in the finished product. For part of this exhibition, I wanted to take on some of the masters of art history and just challenge myself to see how I could reproduce them at a Lego brick. And for those, it's more about just taking on the replica and really having a way to speak to children about art, art history. I think it, it became a fun project to say, like, how do you talk to a five-year-old about the Mona Lisa or the Venus de Milo? But when it's done through a medium they're familiar with, then it starts the conversation at least. Well, when I first started, I did very straightforward representational pieces, objects such as an apple or a pencil, and just reproducing them out of brick. But then eventually I realized I really wanted to focus on the human form to create these large-scale sculptures using human forms because I could put more expression in them. There was a, a, a chance to put more emotion into the art and really express myself, but still use the toy. 